we've been studying out of uh, 1 John, and now we move to the book of 2 John. Now, 2 John is a short book. In that, it only has one chapter. Amen. It only has one chapter and 13 verses. Amen. But even though it's a short book, it has a whole lot of information for the Christian believer. Amen. Tonight, John is the writer, and John, of course, is the writer of first, second, and third John, and the writer of Revelation as well. And so John has a lot of information that he desires to share with us on tonight. Now, our lesson topic tonight tells us to watch out for deceivers. Watch out for deceivers. Now, John tells us this tonight because he understands that even in the church there are going to be some deceivers. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That there's going to be some deceivers. Now, this, the word deceiver simply means there are going to be some imposters. Yeah. Amen. That there's going to be some false. Folks, amen. There's going to be some folks that's going to lie to us, amen. And so John writes to this particular church and talks about watching out for deceivers, amen. Now, 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 when he says watch out for deceivers, we know who the main deceiver really is. And he comes to us by the name of Satan. Yeah. Oh yes, Satan is the master of deceit. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And it started way back in Genesis. Destroy. 
today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my sister Sally and I was in the office just a few minutes ago. You got folks, even in our society today, that condone huh, homosexuality. Amen. Oh, yeah. You, you know, it's all right for a woman to marry a woman. It's all right for a man to marry a man. I remember even coming up that that was something that folks frowned upon. And so now we are in this dispensation. When did that become popular? Amen. Satan has deceived <laughs> us into thinking, well, it's all right. And, and, and for us, as Christian believers, we go around and say, it ain't my business. But yes, it is your business. Because if you're a child of God, it's your business. Oh, yes, it is. It, it becomes your business. Satan is so slick and he's so deceiving until every time you turn on the TV, mm -hmm. yeah. amen, they got talk shows with talk show hosts, gay, lesbians, yeah. amen, yes we do, yes we do, yes we do. If you are not a part of the solution, you part of the problem.
same. Why did Jesus stand there on the cross and look up to heaven and say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do? Who was he talking to? Makes you open up your eyes and think, don't it? Oh, they got some bad don't go, don't, don't, don't fool yourself. They, 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 they take scripture and turn it around and make it fit their situation. But let me help you out. Look at John 1 and 1. John 1 and 1 says, in your Bible, it says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. Wait a minute. And the word was God. Y'all with me? Who is the word? The word is Jesus. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. In, in, in Genesis, you, you will find these words where God said, Let us make man in our own image. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, although they look like three, but they are all one in the same. Hello, somebody. Then you will find those that, well, if he will come, how can he be born Jesus? I'm trying to talk to you about some deceivers. Amen. What, what do you mean he was born from a virgin out of a virgin birth? God, let me say this to you, is past finding out.
to worship God, we must worship God in spirit and in truth. How do we find the real truth of God? In his faith, in his word. You cannot tell anybody about Christ if you have not studied the word. What you gonna tell them? Thank <laughs> you. 